we wanted to make like our version of all the pop documentaries that were coming out that everybody's watching now and so we did Connor for real is a extremely popular pop star um, with questionable taste I would say and he used to be in a band called the style boys like a lot of really successful pop stars he kind of Connor kind of exists in a bubble where he's so protected he's allowed to become a huge jerk or be really narcissistic and there's no one really around to, to check him and tell him to stop so it allows him to kind of um, I don't know be be an asshole we just took everything we're known for doing like music and stuff and just tried to bring it to a new level for the movie and to a new scale the songs are bigger um, there's more bad words more nudity all the things you're really looking for in a major motion picture Ever since we started making like comedy music, we were hoping we get to put into a movie somehow. And so we're pretty, we're pretty jazzed, as the kids say, about this. One of the joys of getting to make a movie is that you can curse and you don't have to beep it. And also, you're not having to turn it around as fast as we would on Saturday Night Live to make the air date. We could actually aim higher and get bigger sets and actually build you know, stages and really try to make the movie feel as real as possible. When Connor becomes the breakout of the group, Lawrence doesn't take that well. He really blames him for their group disintegrating and he moves out to a farm.